Hi there. Uh, today I'm just going to do a little video that will teach you how to cast on to one of these wooden basket bottoms. I've been having some requests for videos and I thought I would finally get around to doing one. So here we go. I've got a six inch wooden basket bottom, t-shirt yarn, and my two hooks, a five millimeter and a ten. So for casting on, I'll be using the five. You can use up to a six millimeter to fit through the holes in the bottom, but you wouldn't want to go bigger than that. I like the five millimeter myself. Um, just what I'm getting used to is all. All right, so I'm going to start. I'm going to get my, my t-shirt yarn organized here. This is light mauve. All right, so here we go. So before I start, I'm going to tie a slip knot in my t-shirt yarn. There we go. And I'm going to put it on my hook, my smaller hook. I'm going to pull a little bit snug, uh, but not tight, just like so. Okay, and then I'm going to grab my wooden bottom. You can start in any hole, doesn't matter, you just pick one. So your, your slip knot is on your hook. You're going to take your hook, you're going to put it through the hole, front to back, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over again, and pull through. And there is your very first single crochet onto your wooden basket bottom. So we do that again. You just go to the next hole, insert your hook front to back, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Two hooks, uh, or two stitches. Um, I'm not pulling them tight because when I go to the second round, I want this 10 millimeter hook to work in the stitches that I've just cast on. So again, in through the hole, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, There you go. So you can see every time I pull it through, I just kind of give it a little bit extra. So front to back, yarn over, pull through, give it some extra space, yarn over, pull through. And there you go. And you just work till you have one single crochet stitch per hole. So the side we're seeing now uh, is the side that's going to be on the outside of your basket. So this will then be like so when you are done. So this side will be on the outside. This side will be on the inside. So the wood is two-toned. So you have to decide which color you want to show and start with that side facing you. There you go. And there you go. So, you just keep going around and around and around, get all your stitches in, and I will be posting some more videos that will show you how to join rounds, uh, some different stitches, and then you are ready to make baskets. Thank you!